Have you ever been hijacked? Maybe not of the airplane kind, but probably in the brain kind. I think most of us know that feeling of people or situations that just push our buttons. We, they say something or we observe something and we can just feel the anger rising inside of us. And sometimes in the heat of the moment, we might say something that we wish we hadn't said, or we might press send to that email that felt so good to write and then now we're kind of regretting it to, uh, three or four hours later. So what's happened to us? We're usually rational human beings. What has happened is the emotional part of the brain, the amygdala, has hijacked the traffic cop of the brain, which is the thalamus. Usually when we take in information, we take it in and the thalamus, which is like the traffic cop, will send it to the cortex, which is the logical part of the brain, and then the cortex will decide you know, how, it, how you should respond, what emotions you should apply to it, and that's usually what happens in our normal everyday conversations. If there's something that just causes that reaction in you, the amygdala can hijack that process, and so immediately that, that situation or that emotion is put, taken to the amygdala, which is the emotional part of the brain, but it's the, it's the emotions without any logic. And so there are chemicals and hormones that go to the amygdala, which is what causes the, those really strong reactions that we then later regret sometimes if we've taken action on them. So what can we do? There are things that we can do, and there's been a lot of research that proves that this is very effective. Find a pause button. Research has proven that when the amygdala is hijacking the other parts of the brain that have a little bit more sense, that if you start to think of something logical, which is where counting to 10 came from, if you count to 10, you're actually moving your brain focus to the more logical you know, computing part of it, which is taking the focus off of the amygdala. So think about, you know, count to 10, or just think about something that you're looking forward to, or someone, something that you enjoy doing. So well, you're just breaking that circuit of the, you know, that direct kind of pattern of the emotion, the brain, the reaction. And so think about what, what can your pause button be? It takes about six seconds for the chemicals to leave the amygdala. So if you keep doing whatever your pause button is for at least six seconds, you'll find that, yeah, the situation may still be bad, it may still cause you anger, but you'll find that your response to that can be a lot more logical. If you're a person who finds that um, touching things helps, take a pen in your hand. And if, so, if a colleague comes up to your desk, you think, oh no, here they come again. Just grab the pen and start kind of twirling it in your hand and just, be mindful of how the pen feels. If there are ridges on it, just be mindful of those ridges. Because again, what you're doing is you're giving your brain something else to focus on. And I think most of us know the research that says stress, anger, you know, all those negative emotions, they do so much to undermine our health. So think about what your pause button is. And when you start, find yourself reacting to a certain person or a certain situation, you know, say to yourself, you know what? They aren't worth spending my health on. I'm actually going to use my pause button and then go back into the situation a lot more rationally. There may still be things that you have to work out. There may still be, uh, you, there may still be residual um, anger or displeasure, but it won't be that real emotion-fueled, illogical, um, response that you would have had before. So think about it, use your pause button, and really start off the year as a, with some healthy patterns.